You know, everyone, we got a problem. Our field's ready to be disc, and uh, our uh, buildings are empty. We need to fix that. Let's get to it. So a local John Deere dealership actually wants to come out over here and they are basically surveying the land and everything and they're wondering, hey, what a great opportunity, a new farmer coming in, maybe we can help out. Thinking about possibly going in with a contract deal and maybe spend some of my money I got from uh, Oregon, putting it into the old dealership, I don't know, maybe. It'll probably just be a small amount, but uh, really considering uh, doing it. So we need to help uh, survey some land, so let's get to that. I'm really excited about, uh, I'm stuck in this building, I'm really excited about uh, possibly getting another dealership around there, because let's just say the dealership up there on the hill is a little lacking in uh, availability, and we need some serious tractors we need some serious implements here and we need to get this all set up so let's go run around a little bit oh uh yeah before we get going so uh i decided to put a different building down i didn't like the other building i just don't think it went well enough with this type of series so i'm not gonna get super big but i'm going to get kind of big and I'm thinking about starting out old so you know I'm, I'm especially if I get part if I uh, put some of my money into a dealership I'm gonna have to use the older equipment I don't want to get too new too quickly but I'm thinking about starting out with the old and of course you know what says old and classic like a 4440 that's why I took you baby yeah looking good but we need to go survey some land so that's why I ended up putting this building down if you don't know the other building was just so long I don't think it quite worked with the farm even though that color clashes a little bit uh, with the farm kind of style we got going I kind of think it, it kind of blends in with that uh, old barn across the street a little sorta. So if you like this map, go check out uh, No Creek Farms uh, Facebook site. You can download it there. Just be advised, you're gonna possibly gonna have to have a fairly good system because uh, this map you'll run a little bit lower on FPS, but. So that is the current machinery or implement store. Thinking about building at least, most likely a John Deere. So a John Deere dealership wants to come around this area. Uh, obviously, I think the best place for us to survey some land is uh, off this street here. Because this is gonna get the most uh, traffic this is going to get the most rubbernecking. You want to get them farmers to just uh, snap their neck over there and just have to stop by and check out the place. That is on top of a hill. I am driving like a maniac. That wouldn't be a bad place. Not a shabby place. That's I kind of like that top of the hill feel that it has going for it. This place obviously has a lot of rolling hills, so... That wouldn't be bad. I don't think we have enough room around the lake, though. It just, it would look pretty having a John Deere dealer ship right on top of that lake, but you'd have to drive around it. Let's see. 
I'm driving through somebody's field, I know. I know. Surveying land. So this wouldn't be a bad place, like right here. But it'd be hard to take out this fence right here in front of us, so we'd have to drive down and around. But I kinda like having that waterway where this whole area right here can be maybe we could have like tractors coming around while you're driving up kind of a, a viewing uh, it's a thought we'll see what we have it's obviously a beautiful area this map is so this area in Missouri is stunning so Driving on the wrong side of the road. Don't mind me. I'm just an idiot. These are uh, some possible areas. So then we got the, I believe, the dairy barn up here in front of us. Speeding just slightly, sorry. By the way, my uh, speedometer on this truck is off. It is not correct. In case you think I'm breaking the sound barrier. It's a nice grass field on the other side of this uh, dairy barn. Uh, possibility. Not the easiest to our uh, place because it's quite of a distance, but... Alright, so I think I'm going to try to make it by the waterway. I don't, I just, I like that area. I think it's beautiful. Yep, I think this is going to be the area. So, uh, well, it's time to get ready. Let's pop our knuckles and Get our inner buck. Let's see if we can do the inner buckness. If I was brave enough to 
So I decided to put the John Deere dealership down the road a little bit. This John Deere dealership sure does have a beautiful 
good old view here. Might have to come here and uh, cast off the bank, especially in spawning season, and catch me a big fatty. But we got a little overhang over here for trailers and uh, used items that might need to go to the shop before they get put on the lot. Uh, the lot will be basically up here. This is where the service area is. And then it's mostly outdoor storage. So we got this little mound here that'll have a majority of the nice items. And then more uh, tractors, harvesters, and all that will be down here. So when you drive by on the roadway, you basically see the, the building, the signs, You'll see uh, all the tractors on top of the hill, and then you'll see the ones up here by the fence here, too. Might have some implements or something like here. I don't know for sure. Uh, we'll have to think about that a little bit. But uh, just so you all know, I did get approval from Buck to use his uh, dealership here. And man, did he do a great job, don't you think? So basically, I kind of wanted a little bit more uh, interactive dealership to have on the roleplay series here. Uh, the one is nice that comes with the map, but uh, you know me. Ooh, I parked a little bit in the handicap there. I know. Naughty. But uh, you know me. I, I want to play a little roleplay, and the more realistic, more real it seems to me the easier it is to play into a role uh, so we just got a few tractors here that's all we got so far don't know exactly how I'm going to uh, put all these out uh, don't know exactly how I'm going to stock this obviously this is a big farming community I mean look out there fields and trees such a beautiful area here but we're gonna get a few harvesters a few tractors this is a big implement and probably a few older tractors too because uh, farmers like me I can't start out with the new stuff I, I can't afford it wouldn't mind having one of these 30 series so probably at 85 30 is a little bit too big for me that's looking good though. Looking good. We got the tracked old uh, 8RX, I guess. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.